Hello dear friends, welcome. I hope you and yours are happy, peaceful and well. It's a pleasure to practice with you again. Today uh, we're going to be talking about dealing with anxious thoughts and stress. Uh, and this is uh, essentially the reason why I got into mindfulness in the first place. Because I found that um, I've always been quite an anxious person. And mindfulness is the only thing that uh, has had an impact on reducing the level of anxiety that I feel uh, each day. It's really made a difference. So I wanted to talk through a couple of things before doing the guided meditation. The first thing is uh, getting into the um, routine of a daily practice and then how to, um, how to handle the anxious thoughts that you're having. So um, the evidence shows that if you can find 10 minutes each day to uh, focus on your breath, uh, that that has over the, uh, the course of a few weeks, that has a measurable impact on the stress that you feel and also helps to improve your mood. And it really helps to have a routine uh, around this. So uh, if you find a time of day that works for you, it might be waking up slightly earlier before other people wake up, it might be you know lunchtime or a particular uh, particular time of day, whatever works for you, and that might be sitting with a recording, using Headspace, or Insight Timer, or the Plum Village app, or the podcast. You can also uh, practice mindfulness while walking. That's going to be one of the things um, we do a, a future episode about. Uh, Focusing on your breath silently, so noticing as you breathe in how the air feels cooler. Noticing how the air feels warmer on the way out. You can do that for 10 minutes. You can focus on your body and we're going to be doing a body scan uh, next week. So uh, if you uh, are ready to uh, do next week's um, session uh, lying down, uh, if possible. You can do it sitting up, but it's better lying down. So there's lots of different ways that you can do it. Uh, it's good to mix it up. I tend to come back to the uh, guided meditation that we did last week, the calm ease one. That's my kind of go-to one. But just as important as uh, being able to practice every day, it's also very important to accept the anxious thoughts that you're having and the stress that you're feeling as well. So the temptation is to try and shut it out. Um, so it might be that you turn on TV or you go on the internet or on social media or with food or alcohol and you close the door and you lock the door. But what tends to happen and what I've found in my experience is if you do that, the anxious thoughts that you're having uh, will tend to come back and keep knocking louder and louder. So the key to apply mindfulness to anxious thoughts is to actually unlock the door, to let the anxious thoughts in. I like to think of it as sitting down at the kitchen table with the thoughts, actually sitting and listening to what they're saying. And being really present with what you're feeling in your body. Accepting those thoughts. Actually taking a step back from those thoughts, observing them, listening. Not judging yourself for having those thoughts or feeling stressed. Because a lot of the time we can feel compassion for other people, but we're not hugely compassionate towards ourselves. So listening to those thoughts being present with the feelings that you're having. And by doing that, not only can you uh, calm your mind and your body, but you can also gain insight as to why you feel that way. And then as you finish the conversation at the kitchen table, you allow the thought to leave. And it's not that those anxious thoughts will never come back again, but what I've found that by practicing is that you reduce the frequency and the intensity uh, of the, the thoughts and the impact that they have on you so that you don't feel overwhelmed by them. 
So now we're going to do a 20 minute guided meditation around that. Uh, I'll start with three sounds of the bell and I'll do a quick settling and introduction. So if you want to get yourself comfortable. So firstly, focusing on your posture. And I, I would invite you to imagine that you've got a thread attached to the crown of your head and it's gently pulling you upwards into an upright position. Your spine like a stack of coins. Your heart raised upwards and outwards. Your hands comfortably in your lap. Bringing your attention to your body. Noticing if you feel warm or cold. Noticing if you feel tense or relaxed. Becoming aware of the sensation of the clothes against your skin. your legs against a chair. Moving your attention to your thoughts and feelings. Noticing each thought as it enters your awareness. And that might be an anxious thought about tomorrow. It could be a happy thought about today. It could be a sad thought about yesterday. As we go through the guided meditation, sitting for a moment with each thought as it arises, allowing it to leave and gently and without judgment bringing your attention back to your breath. And finally bringing your attention to your breath. Noticing the column of air between your nose and your diaphragm. Noticing how the air feels cooler on the way in, warmer on the way out. Breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know I am breathing out. In, out.
aware of my anxiety, I breathe in. Smiling to my anxiety, I breathe out. Aware of anxiety, smiling. Seeing the roots of my anxiety, I breathe in. Smiling to the roots of my anxiety, I breathe out. Seeing roots, smiling.
aware of my body, I breathe in. Relaxing my body, I breathe out. Aware of body, relaxing body. Dwelling in the present moment, I breathe in. Knowing it is a wonderful moment, I breathe out. Present moment, wonderful moment.
opening your eyes. Stretching your back and your legs if you need to. Noticing any changes in your mind and your body. Feeling some gratitude towards yourself for taking some time to focus on your well-being. And may you and yours be happy, peaceful and well. Thank you very much and I look forward to practicing with you again.